this is the Leektro B6009 robotic vacuum cleaner which is quite a sophisticated vacuum cleaner and can be operated either completely remotely via this remote control unit or manually via this touch sensitive pad on the top of the cleaner. Build quality is superb and everything about it is designed for ease of use and practicality. For example, just touch the top and this opens the dust container area. And you can see here that it's a significantly larger dust container than you get on most of these robotic vacuum cleaners. Probably about two or three times the average size. There's a HEPA filter at the front. And another nice feature is this onboard cleaning brush which is stowed on the top of the dust container and just clips into place. Now, if you turn it over and look at the underside, you can see here it's got very good bouncy traction wheels which help it move from different floor types such as carpet to tile or tile to carpet or even move from room to room. This is the brush arrangement and it's got a standard bristle brush but also this sort of silicon rubber type brush. So this is especially good at picking up all sorts of debris without becoming too tangled. There's ultraviolet cleaning as well which cleans both the floor surface and the dirt as it goes into the dirt box. There are these side brushes to each side and a central wheel which gives very good manoeuvrability. On turning it over and looking at the top again you can see here to the front it's got this good bumper, infrared there as well and that ensures that it doesn't bump into furniture and risk causing any damage. Also included within the kit is this mop attachment which has a fabric mop attached to a plastic cradle. To fit it just line up the lugs and clip it into place. Also on this which you don't see on too many of the mop vacuums is a water tank here. The water tank will hold 100 millilitres of water or cleaning fluid so is very efficient for mopping floors. The spare mop is also included and these are washable. There are also two spare brushes as well, a spare HEPA filter and here is a blocker which you can position at the edge of a room or anywhere that you don't want the vacuum to go. So that's used if necessary for keeping it in a specific room or area. Charging can be either by plugging it in direct for use in a manual mode. Begin to charge. And there's always a voice prompt that tells you what stage it's at. It's got four bars flashing here, which show that it's almost fully charged, up to 100% there. Alternatively, you can charge it via the dock, the charging port. And this is used mostly when it's in the automatic mode with scheduled cleaning. Begin to charge. Again, it gives the voice prompt. Once in the charging dock, it can then venture out at a preset time to do the cleaning and then return back to the dock, assuming it's in the same room that is, once the cleaning is complete or the battery level falls low. Now let's have a look and see how well it performs at cleaning the floors in our home. I've ticked a selection of crumbs here on the carpet, so let's see how well it vacuums them up. Now it's passed over, we can have a closer look at how well it's sucked up the crumbs. This now is really hands and knees job with the camera about three inches from the carpet and we can see closely that some of the very small and fine crumbs remain so really it needs to go over those again but looking at it from a distance which would be a more natural thing to do then it certainly looks as though it's done a good job. I've now scattered quite a lot of crumbs on some lino to see how it copes with these. Let's have a look. Begin to clean. Absolutely perfect there. 
I think one of the main markets for a robot vac such as this is going to be pet homes. So let's see how it copes with bits from Willy the Bunny's mix, fluff, hay, straw and just general grot. Now this really would be quite a challenge for any cleaner so let's see how it copes. Now that is impressive, bearing in mind the amount of general debris that was on there. Yes, it does need an extra pass because it's not picked up all the fluff and it's not picked up all the crumbs. But for the difference that's made, that is impressive and I really would not have expected everything to be swept up. But we'll have another go on the fluff and see how it is with that. So the same debris in reverse. And this time, it's gone. Let's see now what Willy the Bunny thinks of it on his beloved furry mat. Well, he's not very bothered by it. And it's also picking up quite a lot of fur. See there, it also went down the rug so it can navigate different points. And back up the rug again. Now on laminate floor, where I scatter some hair and some dust. Let's see how it copes with this. Now that is very good. Not a single hair left. And back it comes. There's a change in height here. Let's see how it adapts to that. No problem whatsoever. And you can see the height difference there is probably just under an inch and a little bit less on the other side. So about an inch there and it navigated with no difficulty onto the carpet. Let's now have a look at the movement pattern. It does have a memory and it does tend to navigate its way around a room quite well and doesn't tend to keep repeatedly going over the same patch over and over again. Let's have a look. Note the path it's taking coming down. And now it's taking a path to the right of where it came down before. You can just about see the stripe if you look closely. So there's no repeat vacuuming there. Now under the chair. It does nudge furniture lightly, but it's not going to cause any damage. Now it should find its way out again. And it didn't go back under the chair. And it's actually coming back on a different path to what it took earlier. Only just, but that's limited by the width of the room and the furniture. But the navigation certainly seems to be working. I'm now standing at the top of our stairs and I'd like to see if the sensors beneath it prevent it taking a tumble down the stairs. Let's have a look. My hand's here at the ready just in case. No, it stopped it going down. Time now to look at the mopping and fill the water tank. It takes about 100 mils. Easy to fill, but do remove it from the 
back so nothing gets spilled on the machine itself. Then slot it into place. And off we go. Now switch it into action using the specific mop button on the remote and off it goes. Very smooth and very quiet operation. This doesn't vacuum, it just purely mops. And now let's have a look at where it's wiped. You can see on my finger, hopefully, that it's slightly damp, dry finger, slightly moist. So the floor is slightly damp and you can see there where it's mopped, i.e. there, and there's the dry section. So this certainly works very well. Very pleased with the navigation because it hasn't actually double mopped anywhere. And it's actually making a really good job of this mopping. Very impressed by that. And again, another straight line, starting exactly where it finished on the previous run. So that's the line from previous, no that's the line from previously and it's come back exactly to the side of it. So there's absolutely no double mopping at all here. Really, really impressed by that. And you can also assist the navigation slightly using these arrow keys to make it go right, left, forwards and backwards. And there's an edge cleaning mode as well which will clean the edge of the room. You should now get it to go along the edge of the cupboards. Like so. There, that's the edge mode. That's particularly good for going along the edge of the room, skirting boards and into corners as well. And always one of the best tests of any cleaner is to see how much it's picked up. Well, after just those few minutes, those are all the crumbs on the mop brush. And after testing on the carpets, you can see here that it's picked up white fluff, red hair from the bathroom off the laminate. And now if I have a look at the dirt bucket, there should be quite a bit in there as well, I would think. Everything's very, very easy to access. And you can see there, that is the dust bucket. Quite shameful really isn't it? Just unclip the catch to open it and then we can see what we've got. We've got all the white fur from Willy and the HEPA filter is quite clean there and this lifts out a bit further with one hand while the other's holding the camera but there we are. We can see exactly what we've got in here. Just dust, general grot, hay, straw, the hair, the bits of rabbit food. So in just those few minutes while I've been demonstrating it, it certainly picked up a lot. And now, very, very easy to empty, just tip this over and tip it into a bin. Put it all back together again. Again, all slots in very easily, well designed and well made. And then it's ready for another run. Couldn't be easier than that and it can even return itself to its own charging dock. That was, in, that was in the manual mode, but if it's in the auto mode, then it will do that automatically. And now it's recharging ready for its next use, which I will then schedule and use in the automatic mode. Very, very good product. Really enjoyed using it. Not always 100% on picking up very fine crumbs from a carpet, but on everything else, it absolutely excels and I would very highly recommend it.